Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Honey Bree Shines. And for those who are joining me for the first time, welcome. So before I get into our unboxing tonight, I just kind of wanted to tell you guys about my day. So it was a pretty busy day today. I've been getting some orders on my Etsy shop. Thank you guys, by the way, for all your orders. I really, really appreciate it. I've been selling a bunch of things. And I know that a lot of my promotions are on my cover minders, but I do do other resin art as well. So one of the things that I do are coasters and I've been getting a lot of custom orders where people want to preserve their wedding flowers. I actually did a funeral flower one um, for the widow, which was such a beautiful, beautiful turnout. And I'm so happy and honored that I was able to do that. And so today I got to work on uh, Miss Michaela's wedding flowers. So her colors were blue and silver. I was able to incorporate that into her coasters and just kind of make it look lively and fresh. And it's a good way to keep your flowers preserved. And of course, it's not going to be the bouquet itself. You know, it can't fit in a coaster, but you're still able to preserve the flowers and the memories from that day, the colors that it brings out and it's just it's so beautiful i love 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 when people put these orders in because i just feel like i'm actually a little part of being there you know being a part of that event and so i was able to put together her wedding flowers into coasters and then i made some trays as well which came out super cute um she was nice enough to give me some of her leftover flowers so i was able to make those trays and they came out so good i'm just yeah i'm really happy but it was a busy day i worked on those and then i worked on some of my new cover minder orders so if you're wondering what these little beauties are on the on the side here these are my new trash cover minders that i just dropped so if you can see these cuties are tumblers so i'm not sure if you're familiar with starbucks but starbucks always has these awesome amazing cute tumblers and that's what these are replicating they're replicating those tumblers so they're all in dual tones and if you look at my etsy shop you can see they're offered in five different dual tone colors but this is the blue red and it's just so cute it actually looks purple and they open up look how cute that is so if you're wondering what a cover minder is, a cover minder is a minder for your cover. So what that means is when you peel your plastic back or you peel your cover back of your diamond painting, you pop this bad boy on there, which there are going to be magnets. So it comes with two magnets, one that goes under your diamond painting and one that's stuck to the cover minder, and then it holds your cover down. And then this acts as a dual purpose. So it's not only a cover minder, but it's actually a trash minder. So you got trash drills stick it in here and when you're done you just close this little cutie up and put it on the side until you're ready to trash things again but aren't these so cute so yeah again guys they come in five different colors two different styles i'm not sure if you can tell on the camera but this is the micro stud this is the regular stud so it's just a lot more diamondy i guess that's the best way to put it but yeah so that's what I got going on during my days at home working. Look at this color, green and pink. Doesn't this remind you of a watermelon? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that's what those little cuties are. They are my studded tumbler trash minders. And you can find it on Etsy, and I'll go ahead and link it in the description below as well. But yeah, so today was a busy day, good busy day, positive busy day. Always wonderful. My daughter is doing so well. Thank you guys so much for all your kind words and your thoughtfulness and just sending all your prayers and love towards her. She's recovering so well, thankfully. And, you know, of course, she still has this bug, so she's still got her little fussiness going on. But for the most part, she's happy. She plays with her toys. She watches her TV. So I'm just happy that to see her that way, you know, instead of sleeping all the time and just super sick looking. And then my son, he is just, oh, keeping me on my toes. He's going to be nine months. So, of course, he's like crawling everywhere, trying to run around everywhere. I stick him in his in his walker and he's just gone. <laughs> I'm like, where are you? 
but it's awesome i love being a mommy and i'm so grateful and blessed and i know that my other son is watching over all of us right now in heaven and i miss you too ad and i very much mommy loves you but anyway yeah so let's get into this unboxing so today i have for you another crafties so like i said in my other videos i'm going to be rotating the diamond paintings that i've been getting that way you can see all the different diamond work that these companies offer and their quality because again you know if you're like me who thinks diamond art club was literally the only diamond painting shop with licensed artwork out there yeah, that's me. That's me. But now I know that there's so much other companies. So Crafties does license their artwork. And I know that, again, Crafties is one of those brands that's like love it or hate it kind of thing. And, you know, I must say the first diamond painting that I got from them, it was so bad. It was so bad. But they recovered with the second diamond painting. So I think I actually did three. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> but anyway, they did recover themselves with some nice new diamond paintings. So today I have another civil art for you. And again, if I butcher the title, I'm so sorry. But I think it's called Jap D Pearls. So again, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Or Jap D Pearls. Jap D Pearls. Anyway, yeah, so it is another part of their Glow in the Dark collection. So that's super cool and yeah i can't wait to show you guys so let's open her up all right guys so here she is and as you can see crafty's packaging is very basic it's just a simple white box there's no design on it or anything and then it's just one package with the diamond painting and drills so they don't really give much they don't give like the sticker sheet and all that so if you have to kit up you're gonna have to manually do it yourself but they do give you a nice poured blue canvas so let's go ahead and roll this back so if you don't know you can actually reverse roll poured glue canvases it is perfectly safe and it just kind of helps straighten it out a little bit if you still a little not straight <laughs> and you want it to be straighter you can always leave it under your mattress or under something heavy like books Okay, so I'm running into the same situation. I don't know why. I feel like, I mean, unless I haven't noticed, I feel like all of a sudden my glare is just hitting these diamond paintings like crazy now. So let me go ahead and adjust the light. Hang on. All right, so it is going to be a little darker because it is nighttime too, so I don't have any direct daylight. But now you can actually see the diamond painting. Look how beautiful she is, guys. I think she's so beautiful. And I absolutely love Civil Arts work. And this is such a good size canvas to work on. I've been doing like a lot of bigger canvases. So doing something like this, like a snack size, would be really nice. <laughs> like a lightweight, little, little break, but still get to diamond paint what we love. So yeah. But here we have it. We have our Crafties Diamond Painting by Sybil Art. So up at the top here, you have your Crafties logo. Down at the bottom, you have Crafties socials and their website. And then we have our two schematics, both on the left and the right hand side. So if you can see, again, this is a snack size. So we've got 22 colors and this is a 45 by 55. And there you can see her awesome awesome work i know it's really hard to see but you guys know me i'll go ahead and put an original photo on there so you can see exactly what she looks like because she's absolutely gorgeous beautiful girl um this canvas is not the best canvas but it's not the worst it's an oil painting canvas so it's not that soft canvas that if you are a diamond art club fan you're used to this is that stiffer oily canvas material so you can hear that it doesn't have scalloped edges so there is a possibility of fraying but it does have that sparkly background which you can definitely see i don't know if you can see it in the camera oh yeah you can nice so it does have that and again me personally i don't care what the canvas honestly feels like because at the end of the day it's going to be almost all covered so majority of the diamond painting will be covering this thing and you'll see very little canvas that you'll probably cut off anyway if you frame it so 
my main goal is to have a beautiful rendering with nice shiny sparkly drills so if that's what this gives me then i'm good with that it doesn't matter if the canvas is soft or stiff it's as long as the rendering is beautiful it looks like it should like the actual photo and sparkles that's all that matters to me so before we move on to the drills let's look at the canvas up close so as you can see, we have our circle guides around the um, spaces for our drills, which I absolutely love because it helps me personally when I diamond paint. I like to, well, I'm a perfectionist, so, so I feel like it has to be straight. And like when I don't have these guides, I'm like trying to eyeball and make sure these rounds are straight. Like squares aren't so bad because, you know, they're squares. But rounds, oh my gosh, I'm like going crazy. Like, is this straight? And I feel like I play with it longer and I waste more time. And that's why sometimes my diamond paintings take so long because I'm over there trying to wiggle it into place. <laughs> but yeah, these have the circle guides around it. And you can definitely see the symbols very clearly. So I don't think there's going to be any issues with that. I'm even looking at the dark colors and they use the color selection very well when it comes to printing out their symbols. So I don't see any issues with noticing what colors these are. The only thing um, that I would say is if you do find it difficult to see the symbols, just use a light pad. It definitely helps. I have the art dot light pad and it works wonderfully and sometimes i use it even though i don't really really need it i like to use it just because i feel like it helps me place drills down straighter i don't know it could just be in my head but hey that's what i think so i use it but yeah so let's get into the drills all right guys and if you're wondering why i didn't really go over the kit it just comes with a basic kit the same basic kit as pretty much every company gives so we've got our diamond painting pen wax We've got tweezers, tray, and squishies, and multi -placers. So, yeah, just a standard toolkit. Now, as for drills, I see special drills already. Yay! So, this looks like our glow-in-the-dark drill. So, 22. This is going to outline her. So, similar to the other glow-in-the-dark one I did, which is absolutely gorgeous, because when you turn the lights off, you will see the outline of this beautiful girl in the dark. So that's super cool. I like that they offer these. So that's where this glow in the dark drill is gonna go in all of her outline. And then I already see this beautiful pink drill, favorite, favorite pink drill. Like, come on, this AB is so gorgeous. I love the way they did this Aurora Borealis on this drill, so beautiful. But anyway, it goes up here in her flower. So that's where these pink drills go. Oh, I see more glow in the dark. Yay! So we have this number five here, which is going to be this flower here. So that's where this glow in the dark. Oh, I see what they did here. So all the glow in the dark drill symbols are just circles. And I guess they did that because you can see the, the black through the drill. So they left it blank. Smart crafties. I'll give you a thumbs up for that one. So yeah, so we have our pink drill that's going to go here. And then we have this green drill that's going to go in her dress. So we got some sparkly specks. Oh, and in her headband as well. So I guess it's like a matching thing. But yeah, that's going to go in her dress. So that's super awesome. Love it. Then we have a crystal drill. So many, so many, so many special drills. I love it. So this is a blue crystal. So if you can see that. And this one is going to be also sprinkled throughout her dress. So it's like this lighter blue color here at the end. So got it here, some in her headband. So that's super cool. Then we've got this red crystal. Kind of looks orangey in the camera, but it's actually red. And this one is also going to be sprinkled throughout her dress. So it looks like these, these designs here. I don't know if it's flowers and in her headband. Oh, and it's also that flower in her hair as well. Oh, and her lips. Nice. I love crystal lips. I actually substituted my Miss Printemps lips with crystals too. I think it's so cute. And then we also have a white AB. So this is 21. So this AB is going to be, oh wow, it's sprinkled throughout her skin. Nice. Okay. So it's all on her back and her face. So I know I'm one of those who don't like to put a lot of special drills in faces, 
but for this case i would say it would probably look really beautiful because if you think about um like japanese style when they paint their faces and bodies it's like with this nice opaque white that definitely shines naturally because of our skin oils but i think this would look so perfect in the skin for this color when you're going with white now if you're doing an ab in like a peach face maybe not so much if it's like blush or eyeshadow yeah but the face skin color i don't think so because then it'll look like she just has shiny skin <laughs> and who wants shiny skin right okay but anyway so yeah this goes throughout her skin love it i think that's it for the special drills guys I don't see anything else, but let me just show you an example of their drills. So I did email Crafties and ask them what kind of drills they use. It is acrylic. So they did confirm that it's acrylic drills. So this is their round drills and I love it. I see flat bottoms. It sparkles through the bag. So I'm happy with that. And again, guys, you know, for me, good quality drills that sparkle nicely even if it's like a cheaper canvas or not the best quality canvas it's it's the outcome that matters it's what it turns out to be and with all these special drills going on i think she's gonna be absolutely lovely but i don't know what do you guys think again crafties is a love it or hate it brand and so far i am a loving it of crafties brand and I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't remember if this is my third or fourth unboxing, but still, I only had one that was bad. So I'm all crafties now. But yeah, I'm so excited. And I do have a few more civil arts to unbox for you guys too. So that way you can see it. But again, this is their glow in the, glow in the dark collection. And they give a nice amount of special drills. It's definitely worth it. And their prices are very affordable. And it's free shipping. Like, I love that. There's some companies that don't offer free shipping, which does make it harder when the prices of their diamond paintings are more expensive too. So, you know, this is a really good brand to consider if you're looking for licensed artwork that is poured glue because there is paint with paint with diamonds. It's either paint with diamonds or paint. No, it's paint with diamonds. And I bought a bunch of Hannah Lynn's from there because they're licensed with her artwork and I love Hannah Lynn, but their quality is even... <laughs> worse than this like they use um adhes double adhesive they don't use poured glue and their canvas is really really thin but again i haven't done one yet so i'm planning on doing one sometime this year that way i can actually do a post review and you can see what it looks like at the end because you know what you may not get it very lovely but as you diamond paint it and it finishes it might look absolutely beautiful and you can't see the back you can't see the canvas so at the end of the day the main thing is that you love what it looks like but yeah all right guys well i hope you guys enjoyed this short little diamond unboxing from crafties this is again i'm so sorry drop deep pearls from civil art which is their crafties is glow collection and if you guys want more information you guys can go ahead and check their website out they have a bunch of different licensed art from civil art and i believe that they're in stock i don't think they run out of stock because i think it's made to order so yeah guys check them out and see if there's anything that catches your eye all right well if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i really appreciate all of you who have subscribed and who have been following me on my diamond painting journey i really appreciate all of you check out my etsy shop like this video if you want notifications on when i have another episode out hit that bell and of course i always want to hear your comments let me know what you think about her let me know what you guys think about crafties now after my unboxings i'm really curious to hear are you a love it or are you a hate it all right guys well until the next episode have a good evening bye